If you are taking warfarin, the blood thinning medication, you should not eat miso soup containing either shiitake or kombu dashi as both have strong anticoagulant ingredients. Miso is a paste made from soybeans. Proper Japanese way is to make it with dashi, which is the Japanese word for stock. And um, we're going to make shiitake dashi and kombu dashi. Okay, uh, kombu is Japanese kelp and it comes dried like this in a packet. Okay. Um, you can make the dashi, these kinds of dashi separately. You can also make dashi from bonito flakes, which we haven't got today. And you could make dashi from shiitake on its own, or you could make dashi from kelp on its own, or dashi from bonito on its own, or you could combine those. You could make, for example, you can make dashi with some shiitake and kombu, which is what we're going to do today. Most Japanese eat miso soup at the end of every meal and this must be one of the reasons that obesity is virtually unknown in Japan because it gives a sensation of fullness and acts as an appetite suppressant. Many Japanese even have just miso soup for breakfast. This miso soup and the dashi it is mixed into have dozens of health giving and medicinal qualities. The Japanese have the longest life expectancy of all nations and part of their longevity must be attributed to consumption of miso soup. So today we're going to make uh, miso soup. And what is miso soup? It's, uh, well, miso is a paste made from soybeans. Proper Japanese way is to make it with dashi, which is the Japanese word for stock. And um, we're going to make shiitake dashi and kombu dashi, okay? Uh, kombu is Japanese kelp. And it comes dried like this in a packet, okay? Um, you can make the dashi, these kinds of dashi separately. You can also make dashi from bonito flakes, which we haven't got today. And you could make dashi from shiitake on its own, or you could make dashi from kelp on its own, or dashi from bonito on its own, or you could combine those. You could make, for example, you can make dashi with some shiitake and kombu, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, so any combination of those three, yes, yeah, singly or in combination. Okay, so what have we got here? Well, well we've got our kombu, which I've run on under the tap already. You need to run the kombu under the tap. Uh, to get the salt off it, and um, otherwise it's very salty, it's horrible. Um, and um, yeah, we got the shiitake. This came, this is from Amazon. Uh, you get a kilo bag of shiitake mushrooms. Um, I usually get mine from Wing Yip, which is a Japanese online grocer. Uh, the Wing Yip one is a bit cheaper, it's also vacuum packed. And um, I'm going to, uh, once I open this, I'm going to have a look and see how dry they are. Yeah, if they, if they, cr uh, if they break open, you know, if they snap when you, when you break them and see if they, you know, they're nice and dry. Um, so, um, yeah, so when you buy your kombu, Japanese kelp, this is the stuff you want to buy well pack. Now, if you go online and look for kombu, 
uh, you'll see a million vendors selling kombu and usually it's well overpriced absolutely ridiculous prices this this stuff is always uh, fairly reasonable well it, it is it's a reasonable price so i looked online so this cost me 3 pound 49 in the uk uh, i use about what i do is i make enough dashi to last for three days and I put it into these bottles and I use a, a vacuum uh, vacuum wine saver like this you can take out all the air with the, with this yeah so um, put that in the fridge so I make enough for three days and about three quarters of this makes enough for three days so I think that work what does that work out that works out at about uh, £1.20 a day and I, I have miso soup with uh, both my meals with lunch and dinner so that's in the UK um, dollars US dollars um, 4.5 4 dollars 5 cents on eBay and you've got to do a lot of scrolling to find it you'll find all the rubbish offers you know uh, uh, silly prices make sure you scroll keep on scrolling till you get well pack yeah well pack uh, I also looked on Australian eBay and um, yeah on Australian eBay it's uh, $6.78 which is quite reasonable I worked out what that is in in UK pounds and it's about the same as the UK price so Australian dollars six, $6.78 so um, there we go so quite reasonable um, shiitake mushrooms uh, a kilo this cost me 20 quid on Amazon on wing yip it's usually a bit cheaper I think I usually pay about 12 pounds on wing yip um, for some reason I think due to the coronavirus thing there are problems with wing yip with their deliveries at the moment so you know and they've got a thing on their site saying we've got problems so uh, that's why I got Amazon instead of wing yip now let's have a look at all the wonderful things um, all the wonderful medicinal benefits from miso soup and it's unbelievable um, I mean I spent I've spent four days on this okay I've looked at there's so many studies about 200 probably about 200 studies I looked at so you've got uh, in the you've got the all the components of the kombu all the medicinal effects from the kombu all the medicinal effects from the shiitake now the Japanese who eat uh, miso Practically every Japanese eats miso every day, okay? And um, the, the uh, Okinawans, Okinawa is a, uh, an island uh, quite a long way from Japan. It's south of Japan, but um, in Okin Okinawa they even eat even more kombu than in Japan. They eat tons of the stuff. And the Japanese have got the, you know, the longest lived people on earth. Uh, way above everyone else um, on the averages yeah uh, but generally they, they live about or oh, at least five or ten years longer than anywhere else one else and the Okinawans full of centenarians in Okinawa yeah um, so um, so let's crack on with the, with making the soup and I'll get on to the on to the all these um, studies as we're making the soup so the first thing we're going to do um, we're going to um, I'm not going to do this um, I'm not going to do it in real time while we're making the soup but what I will do is I will package the uh, shiitake into these bags yeah and I buy uh, silica gel you can get this from Amazon get it online silica gel um, to keep the shiitake nice and dry so I'm going to put my silica gel in this pan and heat it up get rid of any moisture that might be in the uh, might be in the silica gel okay this isn't part of the actual soup making this is just a preliminary um, you know for when we uh, take the shiitake out of the and package it up so this is the silica gel you get with wing it mushrooms and I always salvage it and keep it, keep the silica gel from that 
Uh, here's some more. This is not, we're not making this in my kitchen. This is in a special studio I've got set up in my, in my workshop. So, this is getting hot. Okay, I'll put these in later. Uh, so let's put some kombu in the pan. Like I say, I've already... Uh, let me show you what the kombu looks like when it comes out of the packet. So... That's what the combo looks like when it comes out of the packet, yeah, and it's dry. So you need to keep it nice and dry. And, uh, yeah, can you see this? It's, uh, this gel, it's sort of sticky from the moisture. That's the alginin in the, uh, in the combo. Uh, Let's put some water in. So we'll fill this up with water eventually. So we want to set it at a, fair, a pretty low temperature, yeah? Uh, three. At three I set it on this. Uh, you'll need to find your own sweet spot on your own appliance, yeah? But you really don't want it very hot. Um, so. So we put these in here, so we can keep them nice and sealed. Keep them sealed. And we'll put some silica gel in with it to keep it nice and dry. Okay. Um, when, you, when you close the bag, do this to keep to keep as much air out as possible. Can you see that's almost like vacuum pack now, the way I've done that. Okay. Um, let's see what these are like. Yeah, very nice, nice and dry. You see how that cracks. So if it if it was a bit a bit moist, it wouldn't crack like that. Okay. So that's fine, that's nice and dry. So here is my first batch of uh, dashi. Uh, we can make two batches from uh, the uh, kombu seaweed, uh, the kelp, and the shiitake mushrooms. Uh, so we leave it in the pan at about uh, 75 degrees C. That's about 175 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and um, the water shouldn't be moving we don't want to see the more the water moving so the water should be still if it's moving you're cooking you the you're you're overheating it we don't want to overheat it with the, the nutrients are very delicate so um, yeah we leave it for 20 minutes at uh, and um, uh, just um, by trial and error, find the sweet spot on your hob, uh, which gives you that temperature. Yeah, and then uh, leave it for twenty minutes, and we'll get um, foam around the edges of the pan when it's done. After twenty minutes, you'll see foam uh, around the edges. 
You can't see it very well in this in the picture here, but there is foam. Anyway, so uh, now we're going to drain the dashi, and um, we're going to uh, put it in cold water to cool down. Otherwise, the new the dashi is going to uh, continue cooking, and there's no advantage to that in terms of taste. Uh, but it will damage the nutrients. And uh, remember, we're trying to follow the Senule diet here. And uh, with the Senule diet, we try to cook as little as possible. Uh, we keep, if we, if we do any cooking, we don't cook over 110 degrees C. And um, uh, no, we try to keep the length of cooking to the minimum as well even if it's low temperature uh, we don't try to cook we try to cook as little as possible so uh, these are freezer blocks uh, to get the water nice and cool you you know if you haven't got freezer blocks it's not the end of the world just to use ordinary water that that does it quite well but the freezer blocks cools it down cool cool it down um, very quickly so now I'm going to make the second batch of dashi um, and uh, while the uh, while the my dashi cools down I'm going to make a second batch Yeah, bowl could do with being a bit bigger, or the 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 bowl with the dash in could be could do with being, <laughs> being a bit smaller. Uh, yeah. So this is a voiceover. You can see me gesturing <laughs> to the camera, to the main camera. Um, uh, yeah, the the for some reason the, 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 there was no sound recorded when I shot the, this this part of the video. Uh, here, here I am making the second batch of dashi, and you'll see, silly old fool, I forget to turn it on. But anyway, so uh, on my hob, I set it at three on this hob. So I don't know what, you know, if, if that will be the same for your hob. But that might be a bit of a guide for you. So just testing it. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, spilt some. Quick paper towel. Whatever did we do before paper towels were invented? So you'll see me... Um, whatever I say now is going to be out of sync with... The with my lips moving because it's a voiceover. So, uh, yeah, pour it into a bottle and um, we're going to use a vacuum wine saver. Now he's remembered to turn it on. No, he still hasn't turned it on. Um, yeah, there's little bits of shiitake mushroom floating about in it. Yeah, it won't do any harm. You can strain them off if you want. That's what I'm saying there. Yeah, strain them off if you want. Okay. 
So, yeah, we give it a good old pump with the vacuum wine saver. You get these on Amazon, yeah. Very useful for um, keeping your oils fresh as well, yeah. Very important to keep your oils fresh. Don't know what I'm saying there. Tell me name rubbish. 